So one of my neighbors across the street had a very weak battery, almost dead battery. So he was getting ready to go to work in the morning and so I helped him jump his car, grab my jumper box and just took me a second to get him going, but he brought me this as a payment bottle of Josh Sellers Merlot. So very good. Enjoying a little bit of that tonight. Big congratulations is in order to Allie Disterhoff. She has become the all-time leading scorer in Iowa women's basketball history. I was there when she set the record. It was incredible. And they are playing their NIT Sweet 16 game Thursday night. So I will be there. That'll be fun. See if they can win the NIT, playing for number 65 in the country, right? Here's another great shot here, taken at Carver Hawkeye Arena, BJ Armstrong autograph. It's really nice, I try to get all the autos in the uh, Iowa uniform as I can for BJ Armstrong. So, really nice, glad to pick that up. For the Armstrong PC. This is one of those Rediscover Tops. 87 Glenn Davis. It's got the stamp on the front there. Figured I needed that. I also needed these. Rob Broder. Really nice cards. He always had great photography. Of course, he was not licensed, but he did use the logos and the team names and the photos. So, really nice to get those. Paid too much for those, but did combine shipping, so... A little bit better. When I say paid too much, I think they were $3 each or something, but... I'd rather find them in a quarter box or a dime box somewhere, but... Got them online. And this, this is a real beauty. The PSA 9. Really nice. It's got some chipping on the upper border there, right towards the middle, a little bit off to the right side. I think that's what held it back. You kind of wonder what happened there. You wonder if that happened at PSA or in shipping or what, because I doubt anybody would send this in. It's a newer one. It's got the PSA hologram on the front, so it's obviously not going to be worth anything in a PSA 9, so I imagine they were trying to get a 10, but I don't know why you'd send it in if it had a chip on there, but anyway, I'll take it, delivered to my door for $3.98, I'll take a PSA 9 Glenn Davis for that, price any day. Of course, you player collectors and set collectors know how it is when you have that hard to find card and then you get it and it's damaged in shipping. That's what happened to one of these. He just shipped it in a plain white envelope, not a big old crease, obviously. So I forget exactly how that went down. I contacted him. I think he offered like a partial refund if I, eh, I don't know. I didn't want to send it back. I just kept the creased one. So anyway, I got the nice one here. Cooperstown Lumberjacks. Andy Plank was inducted into the Hall of Fame 1946. So that's real nice. The other one, I stuck it on the wall above my exercise bike. <laughs> so I can look at that when I'm working out. But this one I'll keep for the Plank PC. Speaking of that, got a few more Planks. This is from OBAC. This is the green version numbered to 25. 22 of 25. I almost thought I was out of tobacco card inserts. I couldn't find a damn uh, tobacco card insert for this card. I looked and looked and looked and finally I found my little bag of them. Don't know what kind of operation I'd be running if I didn't have tobacco card inserts in stock for stuff like this. Looks really nice in that top loader. Eddie Blank Mini from OBAC. I picked up this reprint. Fatima or Fatima Turkish Cigarettes. Philadelphia A's 
And this card is loaded with Hall of Famers, Eddie Collins, Home Run Baker, Connie Mack, the manager, Chief Bender, and right there is Eddie Plank. This is nice. This is the original size of the card. Reprint 1988, it says on the bottom, bottom there. Yeah, really nice. Um, you can pick up originals. They're available time to time, but I figured I might as well get this reprint for now. Real nice. Also, this Hall of Fame postcard. Oh, this is kind of a later, well, earlier one, uh, 1978. Gettysburg Eddie. It's got the perforated edges, obviously from a book, postcard book of Hall of Famers. Really nice to get that. And on to the 53 Bowmans to wind it up here. It's really nice. Uh, common here is a good uh, example of really nice eye appeal, but low technical grade due to these staple holes. Two staples were stuck into it at one point. But the card looks really nice, so I'll take that for my set. And pick up some graded ones here. PSA 4, Yankee, Vicarashi. Not bad, not bad at all. It's really not the best looking for. The card's got like surface wear. Yeah, I know, surface damage, but anyway, not bad. Glad to get that. And PSA 4. Here's a PSA 5. This one looks a lot better. The Brooklyn Dodgers. That's a nice one. And two SGC cards. SGC 4. Herman Waymeyer. That's a nice one. For the Cincinnati Reds. And saving the best for last here. This one's a real beauty. SGC4 Robin Roberts. Great shot. I'm really liking this 53 Bowman set a lot. Who wouldn't? <laughs> so there it is, number 65, Robin Roberts. I like that one. Thanks for watching.